this is a case of uh, Garber study in which uh, you see that the wall, the wall appears thick and uh, its uh, lumen is full of low level echoes. This is the wall of the gallbladder. It may 4.6 and this is the fundal region full of uh, sludge, body full of sludge and in the, uh, the lower part dependent region is also full of sludge. Now you will see a calculus. This is a calculus in the region of the uh, gallbladder <coughs> neck. <coughs> this is the gallbladder neck region and you can see a calculus measuring 9.8 millimeters in the region of uh, gallbladder neck and uh, leading to uh, thick wall gallbladder, gallbladder full of uh, sludge. This is the gallbladder. And this is the port room. This, this vessel is the portal vein that courses at right angles to the neck of the gallbladder, whereas this is the liver. And this is a case of uh, mucosal of the gallbladder. Now you can see the a few calculi are present in the fundal region. This is a calculus in the fundal region of the thick wall gallbladder that is full of gallbladder <coughs> that is full of sludge. This being the common bladder. pasa lamba now there is no dilation of the uh, common bile duct at present and there is no evidence of intrahepatic bile duct acacia. This is the comfort vein. This is the calculus. This is the neck. Also contains sludge. This is the sludge filled water barrel, thick water water barrel. This is the common bile duct that is running anterior. This is the CVD. <coughs> Sorry, this is the portal vein. This is the common bile duct running anterior to the portal vein having ecogenic border, measuring 6.7 and up to 7 is considered to be normal. So this is a case of uh, cholecystitis with impending empyma of the gallbladder or mucosal of the gallbladder. Thank you. <clears throat>